It's time for Guys Talk Knives. Hey guys, we are here. This is not Jason. No, not Jason. Not Jason at all. It's Diana. Diana is one of our managers in our order entry department, and she has just happily sat in for us. She did National Knife Day and loved it. I loved it. It was a blast. I had fun. Awesome. So what have you been up to? Um, not a lot. Getting ready for Christmas catalog downstairs. And by the time this airs, this is going to be in the thick of the craziness that is happening for Christmas catalog. That's why we're delving into what we're delving into today, which are all the new stuff from Case for Christmas. Oh, great. (laughs) Oh, great. All right, now. So before we started and got into all of this, I said I was going to roll up my sleeves to make it look like I worked for a living, (laughs) and she just laughed at me. I mean, like right in my face, laughed at me. She must know what I... She is cold. She's (laughs) terrible. Terrible. But we're glad you're here. Thank you. Glad you're here. If you don't know, Order Entry is our department that handles all the incoming inbound calls off of the catalog. They handle all of the customer service. And Diana does something special for us as well. We put all that stuff out there for auction. She is the person that we gladly hand this over to, and she contacts the person that won the auction. She sets up all the shipping. She makes sure it gets to you. So if you win an auction, this is who you're going to deal with. Absolutely. I pack it up, ship it to you, do everything. Take your money happily, everything. Just made me think of Bell Biv DeVoe in my brain. <laughs> I want to pack it up, ship it. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Went full <laughs> 80s there on us. Okay, so let's get into this. Let's get into the, what we've got here, and we're going to start with the thing that sells. You know, we sell more of this than any other case product that we sell all year long. We sell more case Christmas trappers yes. than any other product thing out there and this year is totally different what's different about this one diana this year the biggest difference i noticed is the purple handle it is purple always been red or green or blue or blue we 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 did did have blue we fought with kevin one year about a blue christmas and and we totally did the blue christmas and people loved it it was very pretty and so for this year they went with uh what they're calling a merry berry bone Mm -hmm. and they're calling this a starry night uh christmas trapper now if you've not seen this before uh Every year, they put out a brand new Christmas trapper. It is one of the biggest collectibles from Case. And this thing has a Christmas bell shield, and it has a Santa sleigh shield. Sometimes that that shield is a little different. And we do two different versions. We do the version that I'm showing you right now, which is... The engraved bolsters. That's right. The silver bolsters are engraved there. And then we also have a plain version that is just like that. That is a, uh, a... uh, no no engraving on the bolsters whatsoever. No. $10 difference between the two. The uh, first one is about 70 mm-hmm. And the next one is about uh, 60 right? right? So $10, $10 difference on this. I will say this. If you're watching this show and you have not ordered yours yet, you probably want to do it. You need to get on that. We had calls starting in September. Right. Yes. Right. And, and I get those messages on Facebook all the time. When's this coming out? Yes. Uh, and one guy was looking at his catalog going, this is not the Christmas catalog? No, that is not the Christmas catalog. It is not yet. You will see it when it's out. Yes. And the whole cover covers so this The Christmas thing. catalog is always the Bell Shield Trapper. Well, what do you think of this purple? I purple like the bow? purple. I actually think it's a very nice... I guess royal purple? Yeah, it really is. It's deep. It's almost that uh, crown royal bag mm-hmm. color. Yeah, that's right. Let me get a little hammer here and, and do that. I love that the um, the depth on it is different on every single blade. So you can look at this one on camera too, John. You can see that that one goes like that. And then on the engraved version, you can see it's a little different. Darker in the center, lighter at the end. Your knife is not going to be like anybody else's knife. No, there is always going to be variations in there. We... Don't know exactly what you're going to get when you get it, but it's always going to look different right? from someone else's. They're never going to be the same. Right. Exact. Right. And I know people have collected these since we started this process. I wish mm-hmm. I could tell you when we started it. 2000. 2000 mm-hmm. when we started this? See, this is why we have Diana on the show, <laughs> because she knows things like I that. I do. I do. Diana's around, been around forever, and she handles the calls. So, you know, so since 2000, which 18 years 18 we've been doing years. this. So there are 18 different Christmas trappers. 18 different ones. Do you know that. if we've done presentation bowies every one of those 18 years? I, I can't remember. Um, so usually okay. the focus is so much on the trapper right. that I can't remember doing presentation bowies every year, but right. I'm sure we've done quite we a bit We do of the Zippo every year. I know mm-hmm. we've done that. So we do a matching, matching case Zippo. We uh, have tried in the past to do a uh, presentation bowie, which there is a star, uh, Mary Berry 
the handle is not Mary Berry. It is their presentation white ivory yes. color. It's a composite handle, mm -hmm. uh, but it does have a full purple overlay on the blade. And I think these are going to go big this year. Oh, they are. They're yeah. they're definitely something different. So it's great. Yeah. Well, you know, case quality is always really, really good. So let's let's talk something else about uh, what we got next. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is the one that I went. This screams Christmas without being a Christmas knife. Yes. This is the Red Pearl Cura Knight. And it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. I mean, so if you, if, when you look at this, uh, this Red Pearl Cura Knight, to me, uh, it is like you took pearl and you just made it red. Yes, that I mean, actually does look like that. You can see all of the different uh, shimmer and shine and glow that happens in this. As I move it, the back is exactly the same way. I'm holding up the canoe pattern right now. How many patterns are in this, Diana? It's on that little sheet there that I printed out for you. It there are great. eight patterns in this series. There's, oh, the doctor's knife. I know. Oh, right? exciting. Right? And the kickstart is in there, too. That's neat. So these range in price from 52 mm -hmm. all the way to 103. And it gets to that 103 because they did a Red Pearl Cure Knight kickstart. So assisted opener in that, this too. That is great. This is the one that I think that you could give for Christmas and it would fall right in there and you could carry it all year long. Not just Christmas, right. And, and nobody would question that. Right. Nobody would question it at all. But I mean, that's a gorgeous little knife. You're welcome to handle that gorgeous Thank little you. knife. Yes, it is very nice. And actually, canoe mm -hmm. is, is a good knife to have in your pocket because a lot of people like them because they don't have very sharp edges. Right. So they're good, comfortable in the pocket. Right. That looks great. If you had to pick a pattern, what would you pick? If I had to pick a pattern? A case pattern, what would you pick? Yeah, I actually like the rust lock. The rust lock is sexy. There, mm -hmm. is, there is something about that rust lock that's different from everything else out there. If you guys aren't really familiar with a canoe pattern, let me show you what's here. Uh, on a canoe pattern, you have, look at that. Let me put my uh, thumb in the danger zone right there. Melina knows all about that. Ooh. It's Rough Rider that bites you, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. We have, our, uh, we have our emotional and moral support just off camera. <laughs> Wave to the emotional and moral support right Yay. off camera. Uh, the canoe has one large spear point blade, and then some people for, refer to this as a small spear point or a pin blade on the other side. Mm -hmm. That's almost all the way the way it is. Uh, people like it because you can do your, you know, you can cut up your apple with that big blade. Oh, yeah. If you just need to take a tag off your clothes, you can use that little pin blade Absolutely. and all that stuff. And I figure that's what most people would use a canoe for. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Especially, you know. What was the, yeah, I'm, the price range on this one, on the Red Pearl was, on this canoe? About $63. About 63 bucks. So you're looking at a $63 knife. You're going to treat it nice. You're going to keep it nice. You're it's going to last a lifetime. It, it is. And that's the cool thing about these cases. The fit and the finish is just amazing. But yeah, of what's on the table, I think the Red Pearl Cure Knight is my favorite new thing that we brought out this year. That's my favorite handle. Oh, oh Definitely. for sure. Definitely. For sure, for sure. Let's jump in the next one. And that is the pattern that you love. It is the rust lock. And it is in, what is that one called? The curly oak. Natural curly natural oak. Natural curly oak. As opposed to unnatural curly natural. oak. That is not natural. <laughs> that was the Halloween knife, the unnatural curly the oak. The unnatural. So actually, this is curly oak. Uh, and if you're not familiar, <laughs> if you are not familiar at all when we talk about curly, do you know what that means when we talk about this? Because they sell curly birch all the time. I do not you actually. Do not. No, well, let's not talk about this let's, for a second. Let's learn. So, so when you get a, 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 the curly refers to, and I only know this because she looked it up and wrote it into a story. <laughs> uh, she wanted to know what curly birch was. Curly is when the 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 wood itself is twisted. So they're looking specifically for twisted branches, twisted pieces, and they are knotted and all of that oh. stuff. So what you end up with or all these different little nuances in the wood when you take uh, wood for handles from a curly piece of wood. Oh, okay. So, look, the back here is the epitome of that. See Beautiful. all that different striations in there, and the wood grain goes every which way. That's mm -hmm. the cool thing about curly materials, and this one happens to be natural curly oak. This uh, rust lock goes like that. It's a pretty, pretty knife. So I, I pretty. still so think pretty. of Woody Woodpecker every time I see that. <laughs> Do you see it? Do you see the Woody Woodpecker head there? 
Here, here's the back of Woody Woodpecker's head. You know, I do see that now. Thank you. You, you will never I will unsee never it. unsee that. You will never see it. The cool thing about the Rust Lock, too, is it is a lock. It yes. actually locks. It's a liner lock on the inside, and we can close it back up. Uh, so fantastic on that. This this one has less patterns. Actually, no. It nope. has eight patterns to choose from. Well, mm -hmm. and what's the price range on They on? range from $56 to $106. I bet you there's a kickstart in that bunch, too. There is a kickstart in that So also. anytime we're going to mention these today, and we go up towards 100 bucks, it's going to be a kickstart. going to be a kickstart going to be a there. kickstart. Man, kickstart in that natural curly oak. Mm. Yeah. Mm, mm, Beautiful. Mm, mm. Nice stuff right there. So uh, did you know that we sell more case than almost anybody in the entire country? I did not know that, but I would believe it. We actually have been the top sales for case for a number of years. So wow. across the country, uh, as far as case dealers out there, Smoky Mountain Knife Works is the number one seller of case knives in the country and has been for a little while. Probably a while, I'm sure. Yeah, and I think really, if you look at the history of Smoky Mountain Knife Works, uh, that's really, really probably the business started around, right? You know, I would think. Yeah, and I know that, that Kevin with uh, uh, Eddie Jessup, uh, at Case, who is uh, over all of the sales for most of Case, um, they decided a long time to put the first etches on and do commemoratives and oh, do those wow. special factory offerings and stuff that you see through, across Love the those. board with everybody now. Yes. Which is crazy. Mm -hmm. It's crazy to think that in 40 years, what an influence that Kevin Pipes, the founder and CEO, CEO of this company, has had on the knife industry. Because... Mm -hmm. Every every opportunity you get, you see something else that he's had his fingers in. Right, he he's been everywhere on that. He's he's really been involved with a lot of designs. <laughs> I like it when I put you on the spot. And you, make you are talk. putting like, me on the spot. Like, and their face goes, "What is he going to make me say? <laughs> what is he going to do?" So here's the part where we get to take a little bit of a break, and we get to tell people that we are brought to you by Smoky Mountain Knife Works, SMKW dot com. Uh, cool things that are going on right now. Uh, we just crossed the twenty thousand product mark on the web wow literally uh this week jason got in touch with me and said hey we just crossed into twenty thousand products so if you go into smkw.com you're going to find twenty thousand products there for you to peruse and go through the good thing is we have changed up the search engine to be a much more responsive i know that yes. when people talk to you that's one of the, the complaints biggest problems they have is navigating through search yes so it's doing and better yeah, so yeah, we're doing that. We are mm -hmm. dropping in a new piece this week, and it's probably up by the time that this this airs, of course. But it's going to allow you to sort better as well. So oh, we'll be able good. to sort by all kinds of things like price, like by top seller, by like most viewed. Oh, that's good. Top rated. Great. So if you have bought something from us, go on and do the reviews. That's out there too. That's a brand new feature on the site. Better yes. reviews. That's always helpful. I, I rely on reviews with everything I buy. If I'm not sure, I've never seen it, never used it. I want to know what people who've bought it think so about it. So when you're it. on buying your knee boots. It's very important. You have yeah. to know how, how pretty they are. That's right. Because <laughs> <laughs> so, that's what matters. No, it does. It really does. It makes, a, it makes a huge difference as to what somebody else says about the product, how they've mm -hmm. held it. It's why we try to do part of these shows is to show you different things and how they look in the hand and all of that kind of thing. But 20,000 products online, new search, new features there. If you're not following us on Facebook, if you're not on Instagram, if you're not on Twitter, if you're not part of that SMKW army, you really need to be. We are giving away one thing on Instagram, one thing on Facebook every single week. And as wow. we drop towards Christmas, I'll guarantee you that they're going to get better, yes. bigger, brighter, awesome. And, and no strings attached on no. the giving away. That's the great part of it. Right. Completely given. Right. Right. Yeah. We, we're, not, uh, we're not making you buy anything. We're just saying, here's this thing. Uh, follow the instructions in the caption. Hell, we're not even making you share it at this point. We're literally Good. making you like and comment. And that's how you get entered. And we randomly pick somebody to win mm -hmm. on both places every single week. Anyhow, that's going to run us to the end of this break. You're watching Guys Talk Knives. We'll be right back after this break. And we're back with more Guys Talk Knives. I hope you enjoyed the break in the little three-second window that it ran and showed you the <laughs> logo. That's what we do on this show. That's Diana. I'm Andy. Hi. And what are we talking about, Diana? We are talking about case knives and Christmas time. Case knives and Christmas time. And so we get stuck in this little problem of doing giveaways in these. And mm -hmm. I always end up giving away something at the end. And I don't want to do that this time. I want people to who cheat. 
when they cheat this process and they, they just want to skip to the end mm-hmm. and find out what the giveaway is. I don't want to do that. So what are we going to give away? You pick something. It's, it can't be the Christmas knives. They would kill me oh, dead. We would both be dead on that. <laughs> what are we going to give away? Something that's here. We're going to give away one of these. Why don't we give away the Kira Knight? Okay. We're going to give away the Kira Knight, not to be confused with Kira Knightley, the famous actress. Ah, yes. The beautiful, famous actress. The beautiful actress. Kira Knightley. So we're going to give away the Kira Knight canoe. What do they have to do? What do you want what, them to do? What do I want yeah, them to so do? So we need them to comment. That's how we're going to find them, right? Oh, okay. So do they need to comment something special, like some kind of code word? Um, you know, hmm. Let's say. Why, let's, why, why, what's a good code word? Let, let's say, uh, I saw the Kira Knight. There you go. I saw the Kira Knight. That's what you need to comment in this. I saw the Kira Knight. And if you make that comment, you're going to be automatically entered to win this, whether that's on Facebook or on YouTube. And we'll give that away. So now we can go back to the regular show. Yes. <laughs> so next we have our Cabernet. The Cabernet. I think they should come out with the next one, which is uh, Cabernet Sauvignon. Yes. This is Champagne. So I, th- I think the hardest part about Case is trying to come up with new names for their bone, right? I think so, because they've done everything. <laughs> <laughs> we are not going to bone jokes. No. Not going to happen. Stop. We need to stop. Focus. Focus. Oh, ooh, somebody called Janet in HR. We could oh. be in trouble here in just a second. Janet's already knocking. <laughs> Janet's already knocking. <laughs> if Janet's a knocking. <laughs> just run. <laughs> just run. <laughs> this is the Cabernet bone, right? And right. It, they did a good job because that does actually look like you dropped it in a glass of wine and it stained does. the bone. So do you think that's how they did it? I don't think that's how they did no, it. No, they weren't just sitting, you know, like Eddie and the rest of the guys, Mari, Ford, and they're just sitting around with the natural bone like this. And and then just now, like, hey, it's possible. I'm, I'm thinking that's possible. Good dinner out. <laughs> Shot show, somebody drop a knife. Kevin there going, I think we just dropped this right we in there. We just dropped that right in there. And that, that's probably about how Kevin would come up with something. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and be like, wow, that's going to sell like crazy. Very random, but so, yes. Yeah, I did this. I grabbed the swayback because we don't normally show swaybacks. Uh, this is the swayback pattern. It is a jack. Uh, a swayback is a one-bladed jack. Yeah. Uh, it has a Warncliffe blade. Uh, or actually a modified stretched out Warncliffe bra- blade, and it is perfect for whittling. Uh, this is the Cabernet bone. It is uh, genuine bone, jigged handles. It is dipped and done, and just really, really nice. Uh, I think there are some other features on this Cabernet bone that we should hit, because it has an etch, and the others don't have. I was actually noticing the etch. I was going to ask about that. You're going to ask me about that? Well, you have the paper right there that tells you about it, right? It doesn't say anything about the etching. Does it not? No. Then it says they all feature Cabernet feature. jig bone handles, jigging. True, oh, there we go. True sharp search with double. It is edge. the traditional. They went traditional on this one, so they went with the traditional oval shield. They went with the traditional XX mark on the blade, uh, and, and so they went way more traditional than what we see in the red Kieranite that has the sparks shield or uh, the other stuff there. So they actually do have the XX traditions um, etch on the blade, and I think this is the only one other than the. Um, I'm pretty sure this is the only one other than the uh, Christmas Trapper that has an etch on it. And actually, the Christmas Trapper is a... Pad print. Yes, a pad print from a big dog. (laughs) I think that every time I say pad print, I just think of like a Dalmatian. They're, hey, let's make this knife. (laughs) 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 It's the case Dalmatian. Now, see, that's, that's a handle material we need to get into. Yes, the Dalmatian. Dalmatian. But, you know, how many people would freak out if we put something up called Dalmatian Bone? Oh, don't don't call it Dalmatian Bone. That's, no, <laughs> we could be in a lot of trouble. We would have that. everybody from PETA over there going, did they kill dogs to make this? Yes, yes, we did. Yes. But Case we're killed do, 20 yeah. dogs to make this. <laughs> hey, we've got Giraffe Bone, though, right? We do. Case Giraffe Bone in navy blue this year. That's in the catalog. So Dalmatian Bone might not be a... I don't know. Maybe maybe in your target audience. That's right. Next year's calico bone. You have to kill a lot more cats. Just <laughs> a get, lot of that's cats. That's terrible. That's terrible. No case is not killing anything to make these knives. Uh, no. All of these are natural bone materials, usually from cow or from buffalo and that kind of thing, unless we're right. talking about stag and then we're talking about some uh, usually sandbar stag right. and that kind of thing. Um, let's see. So Cabernet, going to be fun. Gonna I'm going to see how they sell. I, I, we haven't had a really deep... Uh, it's the year of purple this it's year. It's the year of purple. That's kind of nice. I do notice they have a tribal lock in that. That's a pretty popular pattern. Tribal lock has really, pretty. really taken off. Mm-hmm. It's a nice spear point blade that locks up. Another jack pattern. It's really, really nice. Yeah. Uh, the next one on our list is the natural bone 
with PVD coating. Oh, this is it right here. I, I got the teardrop because I just, you know, when Tony Bowes brought back the teardrop into the lines at, at Case, man, we sell a ton of these. This is like, uh, to me, the big brother to the peanut. It does look very similar to that. Doesn't it? It just mm-hmm. has a swell end and it's basically like a little teardrop. That's the shape. <laughs> um, they do have, I don't know, if, do we have two bladed teardrops? Do you know? I don't know. I don't think I've seen one, but now my memory is getting old now, so I may not remember. Your memory is getting old? Not as not, old as not yours. You, not you. Not, not me, just not, the memory. Just your memory. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what were we talking about? Uh, what? Are oh. you doing a show? <laughs> Are you there, Bob? <laughs> <laughs> this is the case natural uh smooth natural bone is that what that is smooth natural bone smooth natural with bone pvd coating with pvd coating do you know what pvd coating is i do not <laughs> we brought diana on so she could say she didn't know what anything was that's that's why we that's, brought her that's right I'm here. on the show now pvd coating is actually a synthetic coating and it literally is a coating they dip this or they spray it on i'm not positive how it goes on the blade but once it does go on the blade it like protects this in it protects the insides forever. Oh wow. So here's the thing. If you don't rake this off or beat it to death or whatever, your metal inside that knife is going to be protected for a long, long time. And I don't think the pictures on the website or the pictures in the catalog do this justice because does that look like what it looks like in the No. No. No, it's 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 kind of a grayish tint. It is. It's it's darker. Right. Definitely not that high polish. No, no, it, and, 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 and when they show it in the catalog always, it looks almost like a brown. I don't know what they're mm-hmm. doing with it when they show it in the, and then, of course, those are the pictures that come from Case, but this, to me, looks more like a deep charcoal, and, so, and it is high-polished. Uh, they can still high-polish this thing, mm-hmm. but they originally used PVD on tools, so dipping tools completely in PVD, keeping them impervious to rust and that kind of thing. You have to remember when you put it on a knife that it has a blade edge to it. So you have automatically taken the PVD off of at least part, part of, of the it. blade. Yep. And right. explo- exposed the edge. Exposed. Exposed. I have exposed <laughs> myself. <laughs> Please don't explode yourself. I will, I will not explode myself on this. Uh, the, uh, the case shield that is in this is the red, uh, it says it there somewhere. Red case trademark. Red case trademark shield. No, no. The Sparks is this one. The Sparks. It does. Oh, so teardrops, according to Melina, the expert on knives. Thank you, it Melina. It does come in two-blade version, but it's extremely rare. Ooh. Factoids from outside the room. Uh, no, this is a uh, nickel silver shield from Case, and it has the uh, the red painted in. It's in there. It's in there. It's nice. So it is there. It's very nice. It is the trademark shield because they're using the trademark red Case logo. Red. Long stuff. tail C. Long tail C. That sounded just like foreign words to me. I didn't know it. <laughs> what? <laughs> Long tail C. <laughs> long tail no C. <laughs> I don't have a long tail. Yeah, you got it cut off. <laughs> they trimmed that off right at birth for Diana. They did. They did. Just snipped it. Got to get it up close. Otherwise, it wags when she's happy. <laughs> Knocking stuff off back here. <laughs> Uh, well, happy to see me, are you? <laughs> it reminds me of, uh, what is that movie? Shallow Hal. Yes. Shallow Hal when he's wagging his tail at the end. Oh, frightening. <laughs> frightening. Next pattern is my favorite that Case does altogether. It is the Seahorse Whittler. Okay. Now, I'm going to tell you that by the time this show airs, this red sycamore Seahorse Whittler, I'm going to guess it's probably gone. I'd say you're probably going to be right. Yeah. Every time we get seahorse whittlers in, they just fly off mm-hmm. the shelves. And, so, and they limit the patterns there. But I want to show you kind of what's cool to me about a seahorse whittler. I've done it on this show before. But it has the one Warncliffe blade, right? And look how thick That's that what, is. exactly what I was going to point out, the thickness. The thickness is there, and it's there for a reason. This was pointed out to me by a viewer named Tobias, who's done some really great Rough Rider um, reviews so far. I actually know him from years ago when I did Facebook. Yes, too. Tobias is a good participant for us. But see how that is supported by both back springs? Oh. So that's why you can use it to whittle, and it stays so strong. If you guys look right here, there are two back springs in this knife, and they are... Working the other two blades that are in this, but they are both supporting that Whittler blade on that end. 
And so that worn cliff is nice for you to get on top of and, and work as a whittling blade. And so it really is probably my favorite pattern there. Uh, it always has the two small blades. It's got a, a sheep's foot. Yes. Not to be confused with a sheep foot. It's got a sheep foot blade, sheep's foot blade right there. And we've got <clears throat> a pin blade on the other side. And those are just little bitty utility blades. Mm -hmm. Always good. Always good. And this one is the red sycamore bone. I just about stabbed myself with that. Did you see it? It was close. Red sycamore bone. Please do not stab yourself. I am only so far in my training on saving your life. I can't nice. do it right now. You had to call John in from the other room. He just looked there and go, what? I don't know. He's bleeding. I'll YouTube it. It's okay. My wife is right over there. She'd probably <laughs> laugh first and go, are you okay? <laughs> and she laughs right this very second. So red sycamore. This is literally hardwood. Sycamore. 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 Sycamore tree. I love the shield in this one because it is their diamond XX shield. Yes, yes. Look at that. Look at that. I do like that. It is pretty. This whole knife is pretty. I bet all of they're these. Uh, I bet all of these look slightly different. I bet when you get these, they're going to all There's have their own have individuality. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So red sycamore bone on that. Uh, the diamond XX shield, nickel silver bolsters, of course, brass pins and liners, all the good stuff we know and love about Case. Yes. Cool stuff. Cool. Always cool stuff. <clears throat> so I know you're getting calls on the catalog. Mm -hmm. Christmas, for sure. Yeah. Every year we try to do something special with Case that if you buy a certain amount, you get something special. Yes. And last year we did that travel case, right? Yes. And then we had to actually, we, we, got, we sold all of those. They were gone. Mm -hmm. And so we had to switch Thank over to you. what? Oh, you're getting my memory again. Come on. Come on. I what was it? I remember. What was it? it? It was creamy goodness that makes your knife that look so case pretty. case paste. Yes, we switched over to case paste because we actually ran out of those. Mm -hmm. uh, this year, if you spend $100 in case product for Christmas, what do you get? You get a beautiful magnetic stand. Yes, you actually get a magnetic stand. And when I first heard of this, I was like, what the heck? Well, who wants a magnetic stand? How the heck does this thing work? No. That's ridiculous. Oh, no. But actually. Prepare to be amazed. It's it's quite awesome. So if you like to show off your case knives, if you want to put them on the mail or whatever, or you just want to stick one on your desk, there are two really strong magnets right here. If I take any of my case knives, I can just, they just lock right in. I can set that anywhere. I can open up all the blades. I can I can set that on my desk. It's just a really nice little thing. It is. It is great for displaying your collections. Yes, displaying my collections. Yes. All of my collections. And, of course, that works on more than case knives. So if you want to it put anything in there, anything. but you just pretend it's a case. But you got to buy case knives to get that it. That is absolutely right. Spend $100 or more on case, mm -hmm. and you will get one of those for free. Stuck right into your Ordi. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> Apparently, my words aren't coming out right. Get your Ordi ready, Get Jim your Bob. Ordi ready. So I'm going to say this again. If you need uh, a Christmas knife, do it now. We're probably almost out. Do it now. As soon as Get this comes out. Get the plain and the engraved. Uh, check out the red curl. Red pearl. Kira knife. <laughs> it is fabulous. Uh, I love it. I might end up with one of these myself. Yeah. Natural curly oak. Again, fabulous. The Cabernet. Oh, do it again. The Cabernet. The Cabernet. Diana says the Cabernet bone is very nice as well. We got PVD coated natural smooth bone. And again, the red sycamore. The red sycamore. And all of this stuff was new for the Christmas catalog. So it's never been out there before. Get out there, fill up people's Christmas stockings with this stuff. I want to say thank you for sitting in for Jason today. Absolutely. Uh, in case everybody's wondering, no, he did not have another heart attack. But apparently oh. when your heart does things, you have to go do follow-ups. And they have you to check do. you out like all the time. Make sure it's ticking. So that's what Jason's doing today. So he couldn't be in to film this with us. If you are watching us right now, make sure that you are clicking the notifications button, that you're clicking subscribe, that you are ringing the bell on YouTube. Uh, leave us a comment. Make sure you like these. It's really important that you like. I, I don't know if I can explain this enough, but if you want uh, people to find your videos, which we do, we want people to start watching. Everybody needs to start watching this yes. show. It's going to get better and better the more of the more SMKW army that we build. Absolutely. Uh, it's the base. They show people things based on the number of likes. 
they show people things based on their number of subscribers. So the more subscribers we have, the more likes we have, the more people that are going to join us on this show. If you're not following us on Facebook, if you're not following us on Instagram, you really should be. And mm -hmm. don't forget that we have Twitter as well. We do have Twitter. We yes. do have Twitter. It is out there. Uh, guys, this has been another great show. Thank you, Diana. Anytime. Uh, guys Talk Knives. We'll catch you next time.